Hello, um, today I'm going to be talking about measuring symphysis, fundal height, and Leopold's maneuvers. So these are two um, assessments that are used in maternity um, to determine um, fetal growth and uh, fetal position and whatnot. So of course we're going to follow all of our standard precautions, wash our hands, provide privacy and whatnot. You want the woman to empty her bladder before you perform the maneuvers and then have her posi positioned comfortably supine on her back with a towel wedged under her right hip to relieve pressure on the inferior vena cava which will prevent supine hypotension. We're going to start by measuring the symphysis fundal height which is measured after 20 weeks gestation. So using a disposable measuring tape, which I don't have, but the hospital would, um, you start by using, um, at the symphysis pubis, measuring to the top of the fundus. The length in centimeters should correspond with the weeks of gestation. So once you know the height of the fundus, you can perform Leopold's maneuvers, which are generally performed as the pregnancy nears term, um, which helps us determine fetal presentation, lie, and position. So fetal presentation is the fetal part that is going to lead through the birth canal. Lie is where the fetal spine is in relation to the mother's spine and position is how the presenting part is in relation to the four quadrants of the mother's pelvis. So to start off, um, to perform Leopold's maneuvers, you want to use the flat palmer surfaces of your hands versus your fingertips so that you have more surface area to feel the fetal parts. You want to be mindful of your palpation pressure um, because you want to ensure that you're palpating firm enough to feel the fetal parts, but not so hard that the assessment is uncomfortable for the mother. So the first maneuver, you're going to be determining the fetal part in the fundus. So you, knowing the height already, you can go right to the fetal, uh, the fundus to see if you can feel the fetus, or you can walk your hands up the sides of the abdomen to the fundus. So once you can feel the fetal part in the fundus, you want to use your left hand to hold the fetal part. If the part feels soft and slightly irregular and wide, you're holding the fetal buttock and it is a cephalic presentation, meaning that the head is going to be presenting through the um, birth canal. If the part that you feel is rounder, a bit smaller, and firmer, it is most likely the fetal head, and it we would then say it's in a breech presentation because the buttock and the feet um, would be going first through the birth canal. The next maneuver that we use determines the fetal lie or where the fetal back is. So hold one of your hands firmly on the side of the mother's abdomen to stabilize while you use the other hand to palpate with a flat hand the opposite side of the abdomen. Then you want to do it on the opposite side. So use the other hand to stabilize this side of the abdomen and palpate the other side of the abdomen. Doing this maneuver helps you feel for the long, flat, smooth surface of the fetal back. So we'll say that on this side, I'm feeling the fetal back longer, smoother surface, which would mean that the fetal limbs would be on this side of the abdomen. And when palpating the fetal limbs, they are bumpier and uneven. You can also ask the mom which side she feels the baby kick on, which would help confirm that the feet, which side the fetal limbs are on. So if she says, I feel more kicking on the right side, then with your maneuver, feeling the bumpy parts on this side 
and with the mother's conformation of the kicking side, you can determine that that's where the limbs are. So depending on which side the fetal spine is, um, so we've determined it's on this side, and I can feel that it's running the length of the abdomen, we could say that that would be longitudinal. So the baby's spine is um, in line with the mother's spine this way. A uh, transverse lie would be where the fetal spine is perpendicular to the mum's spine. Or you can have an oblique lie where the fetal spine is diagonal. The next maneuver to confirm fetal presentation, you're going to use your right hand to assess which fetal part is entering the pelvis. So you ask yourself, um, depending on what fetal part you're feeling down here, if it confirms your earlier finding of a cephalic or breech presentation. If the head, present, if the head is presenting, but is not yet fully engaged, um, which means it would be like fully in the pelvic inlet, um, you can assess whether the head is flexed or extended. So we're gonna say in this instance that the head is not yet engaged, so I can feel the head is here. What I'm gonna do is use both hands to kind of outline either side of the head, the fetal head, you're going to be palpating for the cephalic prominence or forehead. And if it's on, so I'm palpating and I can feel the prominence here. If the cephalic prominence is on the same side of the limbs, which we determined was on this side, we would know that the head is flexed and is in a vertex presentation, which means that the occiput of the fetal head is leading um, into the birth canal. Say we were to palpate and realize that the um, cephalic prominence is on the same side or more towards the fetal back, we would know that the head is extended and that the fetal face is presenting into the birth canal. So once you've completed your Leopold's maneuvers, Make the woman comfortable, and then you can go on to document the fetal presentation, position, lie, whether the presenting part is flexed or extended, engaged or free-floating. And now you know how to measure symphysis fundal height and perform Leopold's maneuvers.